A major ruling today in a civil case that was brought on by four families who lost children in the Parkland school shooting five years ago. They've been granted a request to conduct a reenactment of that shooting. Local 10 News reporter Christina Vasquez is live in Fort Lauderdale with the details. Christina. And plaintiffs in this civil case, these are family members of some of the Parkland murdered. The request they had to the court was to shoot a video and audio recording reenactment inside the 1200 building, the judge granting that motion. So they expect this would last about two hours. And what would play out is essentially someone using the same AR-15 style rifle that the Parkland shooter used using live blanks. And they would also have someone reenacting where ex Parkland deputy, then school resource officer, you may, may remember at the time, Scott Peterson was standing in relationship to those shots being fired inside the building. They're actually going to be leveraging some of the actual surveillance video to inform this reenactment. All of this coming at the expense of the plaintiffs. Now, the defense, uh, which is Scott Peterson's attorney in this civil case, essentially what they told the court is they described this as a self-serving documentary, but as soon as the hearings unfurling and you can tell that they're getting a sense that the judge is telegraphing that she might grant this motion, they said, hey, if the plaintiffs are going to be allowed to do this, then we should have the right to do this too. And the judge saying that at that point, the, their client, Scott Peterson, would also have to absorb the expenses of that. They agreed. And she also said if there are going to be at this point, if the defense moves forward with doing their own reenactment, if there's going to be two of them, that they should happen either on the same day or on consecutive days, to just minimize and mitigate against community impact. You are going to listen in to the arguments made by both sides and what the judge Judge had to say, uh, telling both parties she would like to see this done within a month. You're first going to hear from Scott Peterson's attorney, then the plaintiff's attorney, and then the judge. Take a listen. I find it, again, really remarkably ironic to say that Mr. Piper is concerned about the trauma inducing event of a reenactment to residents so far away. But gee whiz, Mr. Peterson had no clue that there were more than two or three gunshots and moreover had no clue where they were coming from that would parallel the killer's movements and the gunfire inside of building 12 in relation to defendant Scott Peterson's movements, actions and inactions outside and nearby to the building. The purpose as we outlined in our motion is to demonstrate that contrary to Peterson's assertions, he could and did hear the gunshots and he could and did derive where they were coming from. I am going to allow for the reenactment, but I'm also going to order that uh, both sides work closely with the school board. Uh, there needs to be closure. I know that uh, they, they want to tear down the building. I want to make sure that this is done before school starts. And for some reason, the clip where you hear from Scott Peterson's attorney did not play there in that series. But I can tell you one thing um, he also said to the court is he found it uh, sort of curious that this motion was filed at the conclusion of a criminal trial for Scott Peterson. You may remember that a jury in that case, it was a full acquittal. They found him not guilty of all of the related charges. I can say that the judge in the civil case reminding both parties that the burden of proof is incredibly different between a criminal case and a civil case that the facts of this particular case are also different and so stressing to both of them to not make any sort of comparison between the two. Meantime, we have also knew at noon just heard from uh, Linda Beagle Schulman. She is the mother you might remember of Scott Beagle. He was the geography teacher who was shot and killed in the 1200 building. The Parkland shooter shooting him in the back as he was holding the door open, still trying to offer shelter to fleeing frantic students in his classroom. She is a plaintiff in the consolidated civil case. Let's hear what she had to say. The civil trial is coming up and um, I want justice. And if, if it has to be the reenactment of, of the murder, then it has to be the reenactment. We, we, we need to have justice. And, and, and I apologize for, um, you know, what it may do to some people in the community. But the bottom line is, I think that we all deserve justice. And the only way that we're going to get it is to have the reenactment, uh, to, to have the reenactment just the way we were, um, we were given that right today.
During the hearing, we also heard from an attorney representing one of the Parkland murdered, family members of a murdered, and they said, look, we get it that this for the community will have some sort of impact. When you really think about where I'm joining you live, I'm outside the 1200 building at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. This shooting happening on Valentine's Day 2018. It's one of the worst mass shootings in a school in our nation's history. And the idea that there are going to be people nearby that may be hearing live blanks for that portion of time happening in this building, this attorney representing a Parkland family said we get it, but at the end of the day, they didn't want the, that community to outweigh in terms of what they say is the real trauma, and at the end of the day, the people who are facing the real trauma of that experience are family members of murdered children, is what he told the court. Okay, next steps. The judge said scheduling is the next step, and that is expected to be discussed at a status hearing next week. But again, this is expected to be a swift timeline because she wants that, as you heard, to be concluded in a month before kids go back to school. Reporting live for you in Parkland, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.